Welcome back to the channel for part one of the castle settlement walkthrough. Hope you enjoy this one. Let's get touring. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I thought I'd do the castle um, build tour. We uh, finished the castle on the live stream about two or three weeks ago now. Um, there's probably roughly 30 to 40 hours building into this settlement and uh, I thought it was about time we just took you around and done the tour. I, um, I've i been trying to figure out how best to do this so I think what we'll do is we'll do the outside first and then we'll go inside so let's get started. So lovely sunny day today, the weather tends to be a bit inclement here but um, we're, we're lucky today. So. As you can see, the idea of this was that I wanted a settlement kind of sitting outside the boundary of the uh, castle and then another kind of different fuel settlement in the in the front. So our standard little uh, shacks in, in the outside and you know the one the truck shack which I've I've made several iterations of now. Just go inside. Nothing much has changed with this. I haven't actually done any re-jigging um, really of um, a, any decoration. So you get the little fisherman's shark in here. Pretty much hasn't changed either. Ooh. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, so that's going in the funny montage, I guess. Um, <laughs> little drying area for the settler here, and he has his boats just sitting out here. Um, and I think we will head round to the right and then come back round in a full circle. So this was kind of a, a defensive area, and it, it turned out to be a, a series of rooms in here. So there's a little office in here. And then like a little living area. Of course we've got the um, medic that sits outside the the, um, the castle walls helping any of the settlers that live out here. A little guard post area. You can see I've improvised with some somewhere to eat and sleep. And a little seating area here. few turrets etc and then we have then we fall up down through here let's see if we can get out yep we can and then we have this kind of um, bus shelter type kind of almost a uh, storeroom that has been vacated and somebody's moved in here And that you'll see during the tour, there's so many little details. Uh, I might miss some. So you got your little dog house there too. This will take quite a while because there's a lot to see. Um, so we had this kind of. This was influenced by uh, the coastal coast guard pier, I think it's called, or area. So it's a little like military area, coast guard offices kind of thing office in the bottom here with our standard dunny or toilet dunny in Australia and there's lots as you can see there's lots of little details here very nautical and then we move upstairs and it's really just another viewing area but I wanted to kind of give it a, so use some different materials and just vary it up a little bit and you can see we improvised some of the, the ways w that we um, use the stairs and whatnot. So that's the upper level. We'll go down to the next level down he here. Oh, I see you've finished swimming. Okay. And we made a little bit of a container living area. It's that I put up as we were building. 
See, this is, I made it deliberately a little bit rickety here. Now, I've already fallen in the water once, so we just very easily come across here. And so I wanted to use some different materials on the outside just to, to give it that look it's just been cobbled together. This person here, I did give this little um, speech before, has gone out and found all this wallpaper and whatnot just to make his living area look a little bit nicer. This area here for the guards to sleep in. There's a little guard area just down here. So they can keep an eye out for any nasties coming their way. Go up to the next level. And I was influenced by the containers um, on Spectacle Island for this one. So there's another kind of guard post there. I wanted to make it feel a little bit claustrophobic so we squeeze through here, round here and we have a, our art lover critic here who has a whole lot of paintings and whatnot on his wall. He likes to do a bit of reading, there's books everywhere. Nice little living area in here. And then up another level. And again, lots of places where we can just keep an eye on. A pretty good view around the um, immediate area of the castle. If you would like to have a barbecue, you can use sit down there and cook something. Finally, a little dweller shack up here, a couple of bedrooms. So I wanted to mix up the um, I wanted to mix this up a little bit to look kind of scrappy on the outside and then a little bit more sophisticated in the castle. And you can see we've done a lot of work on the wall and trying to match the wall in. Plus, give do stuff like this where we um, make it look as though it should be there, but also give it a point of difference. So there's not much kind of here. I'm very uh, conscious that we use materials that fit in or are used around my settlements largely. See there's another building there which we'll get into in a while. Um, but I've tried to match this as much as possible with the castle. So okay so we will have to do a bit of swimming here. There we go. So this is really where we started the whole build. Um, Ooh, that's a bit weird, there's something happened there. I don't know quite what has happened there, but um, we need to fix that. Um, so I built a little area here for the water. And um, like a little desalination plant or a little water plant. And then I built a little maintenance hut here. For the person to, to live in. There's not much to it like to keep this kind of stuff very basic. That's really strange that that's happened, but anyway. And you have a little platform. Sometimes that happens as fallout and I've got no idea why. You have a little platform there so that you can work on the generator, the water purifier. And then we built this, what looks like on the face of it, to be a, a little abandoned shark. It was obviously used for something in the past, but... Um, it looks pretty abandoned. Not much in here. But there is a little secret door here. And down here we have a super secret bar. So I built this little room here. Almost a series of little rooms. And this is one of the two bars in the So it's pretty basic but it's got a nice little vibe about it, as you can see, tucked away in a corner that you, unless you, it's one of those clubs unless, or pubs that unless you know about it, you'd never find it. And then we built this series of stairs up to the castle, because that was one of my concerns, is if the person is working here, how is he going to get up to the castle? And so we, we made these kind of outside rooms as we go up the stairs. 
you know, an office with a view kind of thing. There we go. And then finally a little guard area. So we'll go back around to the front now and we'll pick it up there. So we're back at the front of the castle now and um, the front entrance here I wanted to had a real medieval you know this is the castle so I wanted to have a little bit of a medieval kind of Game of Thrones kind of fibre about it so we we tried to match as much as possible the the walls here is in as much as the brick the brick look and just added a few things in and um, the first area we have is a, it's a little holding area for the um, for people visiting and of course a lot of this is cabin in the woods uh, thematic and practical uh, mod that I've used to do this this is a little kind of office area that we've used here and then my idea for this courtyard here uh, was that I wanted it you to be able to oversee it so if people were coming in there's still a possibility of guarding in here and we put a little workshop area in here a couple areas for the guards a couple areas for the guards to sit and then we made this improvised little step here so you can then hop up and look over the wall Or turrets aiming down into that courtyard in case it all kicks off and there's a bit of a problem. So we'll try and stay on this bottom level. This is a very hard tour to do because there's so much to see and to try and get round it all is, is quite a feat. So welcome to the main area of the castle. You see there's quite a bit going on. So we will start here and we'll walk all the way around on the bottom level to here and then we'll go up and do the same. There's Ronnie Shaw, and I was very conscious of her pathing, which she walks back and forward here. Usually in this corner there is a big um, gate to go into the armory, and you'll see how I've integrated that into this building here. You can see I've still, <laughs> my concrete pillar hasn't been removed from building. But this is basically the administra administration block for the, the Minutemen here. So there's a Minuteman flag there, and we'll go in. So on the lower level here we have um, just a basic administration office area. And then on the next level up we have the General's office. Obviously his, his assistant sits in here, and then the General's office is in here. all pretty nice and here's a, a nice view uh, across the courtyard and whatnot and oh, remember to walk out the door before you go out before you shut it and up on the roof here we've we've just added something that you would see a lot in the in the fallout 4 kind of landscape is just these little areas up on roofs um, for guards and whatnot. So, all the way back down. And as I said, the armory originally was in here. And usually there's a big door that flips up here. But I wanted to build this around the armory and integrate it. So, we have a little area in here where we're storing ammunition, explosives, whatnot. And then coming through into this area there's it's transition areas to all storage all storage Siri. possibility i see nearby is that the one you want okay to siri's talking to us nice thank you siri and um, and you can see this is employees only everywhere it says restricted area even on the floor on the walls restricted access because this is the main armory for the castle and for the minutemen so I wanted to keep these shelves in here because they're fairly unique and then just build around. So I've kept a lot of these items 
you can see this is an animated uh, workbench. I kept that, kept a lot of the items that were in here and just added to them. And we've built a little armory in here. You restock your ammunition and weapons and whatnot. So this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. It, it, it integrates beautifully into the the uh, administration block. And, and the only thing is you get a little bit of clipping with these doors, but that's okay, you can, I can live with that. So here's the main uh, radio freedom area. Um, and we've made this into a little bit of a marketplace in the, in the center of the castle here, but we've actually built around the radio freedom area. So you can see it's fully, if he ever gets up from his chair, he can go and have a sleep. There's a little kitchen in there and somewhere to sit, sit and have a drink and something to eat. And then we have built a series of little market stalls from um, vanilla extensions and uh, thematic and practical. So this area here is one of the first areas that we built in the first video that we did, which is a kind of settler's area, and I'll take you in there in a sec. So we have our uh, standard clinic in here. Uh, this is where they make their um, potions and whatnot. And then we have this little walkway that leads up into this area here, this dwelling area. And, and I, I like the look of this. Uh, I've tried to integrate all the crops into here, but I like the look of this or this idea where you're walking along and there's all this, these things like shelves and whatnot sitting on the edge rather than put a wall in. So on the bottom level we have a little bit of a printing press for the propaganda for the Minutemen. And um, influenced by public occurrences, obviously, in Diamond City. Up to level one. And this is just a series of, of little sharks in here. Little dwellings. Changed it up a, you know, a little bit. A little bit of a water tower in there if we need it. Benches around, hanging around there. All kinds of... Tried to change things a little bit so that it looked different and had different elements to it. Little kitchen in here. And this was really... This was my first attempt at having a kind of a barracks for the troops. So I wanted to, to look a little bit military, military, military um, influenced. Dog meat's fine, something of course he has. So you can see in that, again it gives a good overview. And then links back into the administration block as well. Under the the area here, I had this odd little area, so I decided to make it the um, settlement barbers. A la, again, a la Diamond City-ish. And um, again, another little shark with a slightly different vibe. So that's it for this area here. I'm listening. I wish Siri would uh, go away. Okay, so again, more market stalls, and I've kept it. Tried to make these a little bit different to what you'd normally see. So the counter is actually just a table, and it's something I've actually done now in Norwegian. Kept it very simple. So we now have this area here, and. Um, that's a jail cell area, and this was influenced by a, a jail that I visited in Dublin, an old historic jail that I visited in Dublin, and um, pretty easy to put together, but it does fit with the, the castle vibe. And you can see there's all oh, there is a chair, a bed, and an improvised toilet. Not much else. And you know, I'll find all these rails um, was in ramps, stairs, and railings. I think it is from the master plan series, which all fits into the, the rails above. 
So the first thing we ever built was this electrical area in here, and I, I like to have a generator room. Essentially, that's all it is. A little generator room with some... Not much to this. But I had been watching... I had been playing a, a Western video game, and it had this kind of vibe about it, so I wanted to build it. Originally, there was toilets in here. Um, I put a couple of toilets here, but I changed that and made it a clothing store. Giving that little bit of a market vibe about it. There you go. And also we have some... I also dressed up the original... Um, the original workshop area, put a roof on it. I did my standard mesh fences in. And made it a little bit more of a workshop area. Plus we've got some power armor sitting in there ready to go. And you can see these are pretty cool benches from uh, Creative Clutter. Where you can add these little mini benches on top of it. Pretty cool. And then we have the market stalls. And you can see there's lots of little details that you can put in just to sell the kind of immersion. So we made a little bit of a bar here. Hi, how you doing? So you can buy your your uh, beverages here, and then you can just walk it around here and have a seat and drink, and have a chat. And then here we've got just a general general store. And finally, on the bottom level, we have the butcher shop. And you can see this is pretty good from better stores where there's actually an animation where he's cutting the meat and whatnot. So that's it for part one. I think I'm going to have to do this in two parts um, because it's such a big uh, build and such a big tour. So tune in for the second part and um, we'll see you in a minute.